this is Swanee from Now Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to show you how to create this Easter manicure with cute little bunny ears. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. First I apply this beautiful color from Colores de Caro. This is from her spring collection. This is called Spring Extravaganza and it's gorgeous. Look at this. You can see the multicolored glitters inside. I see yellow, I see like a peach, I see a light green color, like a pastel green. Very beautiful. And I have applied three coats. Now I'm going to stamp using Red Angel's Plate. Okay, and we'll be using three colors from Mundo de Uñas. We are going to be using peach, spring green, and pastel yellow. So we're going to apply the colors to the plate. And I started with the color green. Then I go to the peach. And finally with the yellow. Let me add a little bit more here. Now we gently swipe in the same direction of the pattern. Okay. And we pick up. There we have the design. And we stamp. And there we have the first layer. Before I begin the second layer of stamping, I'm going to apply a top coat just in case if I make any error, I can quickly fix it or take it off without having to redo my manicure. So I'm going to apply the top coat. I'm going to let that completely dry. Now we're going to apply the cute bunny ears, but as you can see, the bunny ears are too big for my nails, so I'm going to have to shrink them. For this, I'm going to use two stampers, okay, because I'm going to do one ear on each stamper. So first, we're going to take our Mundo de Uñas whites, get that ready, get our scraper ready. We're going to take off the stamper because we're going to shrink it. Remember, by shrinking it, you're going to pull back a little bit and pick up the image. Well, let's do that. We apply our polish. Gently swipe. Push back the stamper. Push down. And pick up. So as you can see, it's much more smaller now. Now we grabbed our other stamper head and we're going to do the other ear. Apply our polish, gently swipe, push back a little bit. Try to push back almost the same as before. Okay, and here we have the ear. Now we're going to look at them and we're going to see if they're somewhat the same, and they are. So it's fine, we're going to use them, all right? Now using China Glaze, more to explore, which is a very light pink, I'm going to use it to fill in the ears because we're going to be doing the advanced stamping technique or the reverse technique. So we're just going to go ahead and just apply color. Be careful, take your time. Remember, one thin coat. Now we grab the other ear. We're going to do the same thing. One thin coat. Okay. There we go. We go back to the first one. We touch it a bit. And if it's dry, we'll go back and apply a second light coat. Okay, now we go back to the other ear and we do the same. Okay, 
Now we go back to the first. It might still be wet. As you can see, my fingerprints, it still is. So let's give it a little chance. If you want, that's what I'm going to do anyway. You can wait until it dries fully. But I'm going to use a top coat. I'm going to use Sesh Beat. And we're going to apply a very, very thin layer over the ear. We have to do this because, as you can see, this part right here, the white, has already dried. So we need something to apply on so it can stick on the nail. So I'm going to apply the clear. All right, just a thin layer because if you apply too much, Sesh Feet dries like very heavy and it'll be um, thick. Hope you understood that. <laughs> And then we're going to do the same with the other ear. So we did that. Now we're going to keep an eye on our stampers. See if they're ready. Take some time. But doing this, as you can see, using two stampers at the same time, will make you speed up the process, okay? So I'm going to lightly touch it to see if it's ready. I think it almost is. So I am going to put it back carefully on the stamper. I'm going to do that with both of the ears. And I think they're ready. Okay. Let's see which one I have to put. I gotta put this one on my ring finger. So I'm gonna try to center it the best I can. And I apply pressure. I start to roll, see if it's sticking on the nail. And it is. And there we have the first bunny ear. If anything is lifted, just push it down. So we have one bunny ear down and another to go. So now we do the same. We try to center it, apply pressure, start to roll, and there we have the other cute bunny ear stuck on the nail. Okay. It takes time, you guys, but don't worry. Keep practicing. Now our last step is to apply top coat. And we're done. Cute bunny ears for Easter. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below and I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter Sunday. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.